It's number one on Florence and the Machine Week. This is a live video. So M5 Sun came in with live Dog Days Are Over, which is definitely a song I know. Yes, I've heard this it. This song well. was very popular. And live at the Oxygen Festival. Yes, 2010. 2010. All, right, All right, yeah, let's just go for it. Let's, let's get, get it going. It's, it's a long one. That harp, Joe. Uh, in the rain. I think we're about to get into the uh, extracurriculars here now, <laughs> okay. the, the post song, because that seems like most of the song. Yeah, we're halfway I'm, through. Yeah, I'm excited to see what happens next, but I love the rain. Dude, this is this has got to be in what, England or some sh- I don't know. It looks like England. Could be. Rain's in other places, too. Uh, it does rain in Seattle. Oh, wait, wait where is it rain? <laughs> it rains in like two or three places. I heard it rains I've in heard. Seattle as well, so it's either Seattle or England. Uh, that's <laughs> it. it doesn't rain anywhere else. There's only two places. <laughs> um, man, the bass is loud in the mix. <laughs> it is, it is. Run fast for your mother, run fast for your father. It's my favorite instrument, so I love to hear it. Turn Mike, it up even louder. Yeah, Mike, Mike just loves to slap the bass. Although he's really not a bass slapper. It's more just a bass bumper. I bumped the bass. <laughs> bumped the bass. Um, she looks like she's having a great time, and that's all I that's all I'm here for. Yeah. When, when an artist looks like they're having a good time on stage, that makes me have a good time. That's right. 
And the crowd is going wild. They don't give yeah, a shit. This crowd is nuts. They don't give a shit that it's raining. I know. And it looks like some pretty like gross rain, too. It's like, just like spitting on them. Oh, yeah. And it looks like it, it like you get wet and you're kind of cold. Yeah. But you're just fighting through it. You don't give an F. Because yeah, Florence enough. the Machine is on stage and the dog days are over. <laughs> That's right. Brother. And I'm assuming this is going to be the, this has got to be the end. It's got to be the Final end. song of the show. fun it's effing windy out too I, know. I i love her power stance no shoes wearing this kind of like medieval like majestic gown gown blowing in the wind blowing in the wind and the rain 
Remember? That rain is raining sideways. That's some rough <laughs> rain. Oh, yeah. But you know what? I, I, bad weather and something like that probably makes it so epic to be in. Like, it's just, oh, yeah. dude, well, I was there in that rain, and we were fighting through it, and then just running fast for you, and we were going crazy. And <laughs> man, we those were, people are stomping in the mud. Oh, man. My, f- my shoes have been ruined. Nah, these people wear boots. My boots were ruined. It was so muddy, my boots were ruined. Let's, what do you think? They came up in fly fishing gear? No, they bring uh, everyone. If this is in England, everyone brings their wellies. That's just like what you bring. Uh, those little things that you cover your shoes with. No, wellies in England are just like, like rubber those. boots. I like. I like. You're thinking of booties. I was. I like that. I was when just, like, uh, you know, back in the day when we just put like uh, I don't know plastic bags over our shoes. Oh yeah, <laughs> that uh, didn't really work. Well, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, but you gotta remember, it's really not that tight on the top, it and was the like, water just goes right into your shoes. It was fifty-fifty. <laughs> I know. Or it would be snow that goes right into your shoes and then melts and freezes your toes off. I think the best way it worked was you put the plastic bag over your socks, and then you put your bag feet in the shoes. Your shoes still got wet, but your feet stayed dry. Ah, yes. That was the best. Well, Mike, you have a bad experience of putting your foot into a shoe before. Yeah, I once put my foot into a boot in March, and there was a f- dead frozen toad in my boot. I was like, what the hell? Uh, I thought there was just a rock. So little me, like six-year-old me, reaches my hand in my boot and pulls out a frozen toad. It was just so gross and weird. It was just not <laughs> yeah. what I was expecting. Yeah. That's the life, like, though. chucked it. <laughs> There's a toad in your boot. I don't know what happened to that toad. Because they just freeze and then they maybe come back that, to life. <laughs> yeah, maybe that toad thought that that was a good place to hibernate and then failed. <laughs> Normally they just go in the dirt. This toad found its way into my boot. Yeah, there are so many toads in our yard growing up. So many toads. But um, back to Florence here. Oh, I had one more thing to say. I mean, it's funny seeing a festival from 2010. No LED screen, no drones. They they had the camera on the crane. Yeah. Like, that's what they used to do just 14 years ago. I know, it's not even I've, that long ago. So much has we changed. We were adults <laughs> still. I mean, so much is the same, but so much has changed. Yeah. You know? Oh, this is what I was going to say. So, to your point of the people out there getting rained on, there is a sense of surrender that goes into it of just like, you know what? We're here. We bought our tickets. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just accepting that I'm just wet now. <laughs> I'm just oh, like yeah. covered in water. Yeah, That's once you're, just once what you're I'm wet. doing. And once you're wet, you just give up on it. It looks like yeah. it's not too cold. There's some people in short sleeves here. Yeah. So it looks like it's cold. probably just like 70 and raining. Yeah. So it's not it's too bad. Probably just like a summer summer festival. But uh oh yeah, I remember that. Like you remember that doing especially like playing sports as kids. Oh. You'd be yeah, out there. Yeah. And, you know, you Once go out you fall, in the football field and you fall in the water one time. Yeah. You're just like, all right, that's it. I don't that's care. It. It's like jumping into a pool. I'm done. It's This is just what it is. You're just covered in mud. Yeah. Well, and since it's a Florence and the Machine Week, uh, American football. American football, yes. Yeah. Uh, Lawrence Brit- football. Brit- <laughs> British soccer. British soccer. Yep. Does anyone has anyone ever called it British soccer? British. Well, British people soccer. don't call American football soccer. They call it an American football. Right. Yeah. But I wish they called it soccer in spite to spite. Yeah, they're like soccer. Yeah, it's Ameri- soccer. American soccer. Why do Amer? Oh well, I know because Americans can't do anything the same as the rest of the world. No, that's why we have, we have imperial. Have you know, gallons and feet, feet. miles. Miles. Well, yeah. British people do miles as well. <sighs> And they do yards. Yes. And pints. But they do kilograms. And pints are half a liter. I think they also do kilometers. They do so gallons, right? You're going to have to take that up with Florence. I don't know. Uh, they do some things. But not the, not all of them. Yeah, American America does its own thing always. It's the way it's the way it works. <laughs> even if it's number one. even if it's insanely inconvenient. Like yeah. a mile being five thousand two hundred and eighty feet. 
Yeah, it makes no sense. Like, you know what you know what you never had to do? Teach a child how many meters were in a kilometer. Oh, you just know. It's a thousand. <laughs> it yeah. makes sense. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. Yeah. American's like, oh, it's a five thousand two hundred and eighty feet. And like, oh great. Oh, I'm glad. I have to memorize those four digits for yeah. the rest of my I'm life. I'm glad I have space in my brain. And how many yards? I don't know. You're gonna have to divide <laughs> that by three. Thanks. So like uh, 1,760, I think what that's I mean, what it is. at I least, remember. at least three feet is a yard, right? Yeah. That's true. And, but the, why d- three? But the dumb like thing is five, but the dumb thing is a yard is like almost the same as a meter, but they're like slightly different. <laughs> I know. And then what is, what is longer? 36 inches a meter? A, a meter, meter is like 39 something inches and a yard is 36 inches. <laughs> Which so then it's 12 stupid. inches to a foot. So like when people say yards and meters, in my mind, I'm like, it's interchangeable. That's fine. Well, and that's what like sucks a yard about and that. a meter are basically the same. When you're a kid in school in the United States, we spend so much time on fractions because of measurements. <laughs> like why else would we spend so much time on damn fractions? Because everything's seven eighths of an inch. It's like, why? Yeah. Oh, what is that? Like uh, two and two thirty seconds? <laughs> Maybe two and one sixteenth, but still, it's so obnoxious. And fractions, I, I don't know. Me personally, fractions do not <laughs> run smoothly through the brain. Yeah, no, They're I forgot. Weird. All, I forgot all fraction math. Yeah, you go immediately um, to decimals. But Joe, in England, they call it maths because there's more than just one type of math. Okay. Anyway, uh, I love that English is significantly, at least significantly, different between. Uh, Every English-speaking country, and in particular the United States. It's pretty much the United States and then every other country. Maybe U.S. and Canada and every other country. What? Just the, like, color. Although, do, do Canadians spell color with a U? Oh, you're talking about spelling. But yeah, just, like, do. there's so many things. Oh, okay, so yeah. it's just Americans. God Canadians do that. You yeah. idiots. What can I say? We're the best. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> we have no imperfections. <laughs> Proud to be uh, an anyways, American. En- at least enough of this. I know I'm this was a long, weird tangent. But yeah, what were we thank you to Florence and the Sheen for writing amazing, very unique music. Yeah. And thank you to M5 Sun for the suggestion. And thank you to our lovely live stream viewers who, vo- who voted yes. for this week. Every one of you deserves a. Um, that's because right. because that's that's how you get in our good graces come on the live stream. That's how you do we it. We appreciate we really appreciate the live streams taking your time to come and hang out. Yeah, show us a little bit of your personality. Yeah, we get to learn about everyone. It's great. That's the idea. We're building friendships. We're building a community. A community of friendships. Yeah. All right. Well. I'm really committed to the friendship thing. Yeah, Joe is. Well, I'll see you in the next one. Joe's going to keep talking. I'll, I'll be here for another two to three <laughs> hours. Thank you.